this is just a little experiment on high intensity discharge lighting um, this is a h38 100 watt mercury vapor lamp and this is a M90, M50, I can't read it, M50, 100 watt metal halide ballast with the pulse start igniter. And this is a um, H38 mercury vapor 100 watt ballast. And you can see the size difference there between the two. Now, online, uh, more people than not say that these are interchangeable. You can use a mercury lamp with a metal halide ballast, uh, but not vice versa because the metal halide ballast has a little bit higher of a starting voltage. So what I want to do is I want to see with the scope what the waveform output looks like. I know this is kind of a bizarre out of nowhere video but these can be very interesting. So I've got the scope hooked up to the lamp and that's not quite what I wanted to happen. Oh, look at that. So this is, as the lamp, it's a beautiful pinkish color right now. As the lamp warms up, this will increase. Let me see if I can get this to lock. It's only 60 hertz, so it's a little bit. But basically, That's an interesting looking waveform. This is what's coming out of the ballast. And you can see as the lamp warms up, the voltage increasing. Okay, so let me let this peak out, give it five minutes to warm up, and we'll come back. All right, well this is the lamp fully warmed up, pretty much, on the um, metal halide ballast. And... an interesting waveform. I, I wonder if this little peak right here is where it strikes and then of course this right here is where it conducts. So basic, basically if we look at this we're one line from the top just over one line from the top and bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up the um, yeah, the one thing about mercury is that the, the uh, it's a really crappy light to uh, do movie by because it's so narrow spectrum. I'm going to hook this one up. We'll let the lamp cool off and we'll see what the difference is. So let's take a look at that. This is the um, metal halide 100 watt transformer. Okay, I will have to compare this, but it looks exactly the same. I, it's the same little tad over the line, and this is the appropriate ballast. 
Now next up, I want to try this ballast. This is an H38 uh, with the capacitor in series to correct the power factor. So this is a high power factor ballast. This is this is a low power factor. So I I'm really curious to see what the high power factor looks like, but I would say that those two almost look identical. Let me get some video here so I can cut directly to the other ballast. Takes the bulb about five minutes to cool off before it'll restart. One thing about the the power factor corrected ballast with the capacitor is it takes forever to warm up. But this is a very different looking waveform, but yet the um, the peaks are about the same. Now I'd, I might be making a mistake in looking at the peaks. Uh, I might want to look at the overall on voltage here and here, which I'll have to go back and compare that between the two low power factor. In fact, this one's even coming up a little bit higher, the peak is. And it's interesting that there's this little microscopic noise line there. I don't know if you can see that. You can see this little noise peak here and here. And I would think that would play havoc with a AM radio. A little RF but anyway, this thing, yeah, this thing's continuing to warm up. I'm like five or eight minutes into it where the other ballasts warm up in a minute or two. So uh, that's comparing the three ballasts. I'm kind of interested in this because, well, mercury vapor lamps are a super long-lasting uh, light source. And they're pretty much coming to an end this year I think they've been banned for commercial use or sale or something so another another light source that our government has EOL'd 